Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, set up and install SDL2 for the OpenGL programming. So first we're going to be working in Visual Studio. I've downloaded the 2017 version and made sure that I've installed C++ so we can create new C++ projects. So I'm going to go File, New, Project, uh, do an empty project. I'm going to call it uh, Hello SDL and move it to uh, a directory uh, here in my desktop, SDL, and click OK. And this is going to set up a new uh, solution and empty project here. We can see there's no source files. Um, so let's create a source file. I'm just going to call it uh, main.cpp. And we'll create int main. Uh, just an empty C++ program here. Uh, I can run it here. It's going to tell me I need to build the project. Yes. And the program should run um, without doing uh, too much. Now a few uh, options I want to configure before we start is I'm going to change this x86 to 64 because I have a 64-bit machine. Uh, debug is fine for now, but you might also do release mode. And I'll demonstrate why those uh, tabs are important to know about uh, shortly. Uh, but we've got a C++ project set up here, and now we want to set up uh, SDL. So SDL, what it is, is the simple uh, direct media layer, currently version uh, 2. Uh, and this is going to allow us to create a window that we can draw graphics on, get keyboard input, uh, play audio, uh, and so on. Okay, so if I'm getting set up, I need to download the development libraries here for Windows. Uh, so I'm going to click that, and it's going to download a zip file in the bottom left corner. Let's show these uh, files here, uh, which went in my downloads folder. And I'm going to extract it uh, using Windows, uh, just to this location is OK. Uh, so here's my folder. Uh, it's in downloads, which isn't a very permanent place, so I'm going to move it um, actually onto my uh, C drive, uh, so it's somewhere I know where it is. I don't have to worry about accidentally deleting it from my downloads. Uh, so let's take a look inside this directory. Uh, I see a readme, so I should always uh, read that, and we see it's a simple direct media library. Uh, it's been used for many award-winning games, so we know this is a uh, good system for us to be learning. Okay, uh, and then the folders that are here, docs for the uh, documentation, uh, include files, which are all the header files, uh, which give us our uh, function definitions. And finally, the libraries that we need. Uh, one, if we're using 64-bit system here, and one for uh, x86. Okay, so now, uh, at this point, let's go ahead and uh, tell Visual Studio uh, in the project that we've created here, where to find these uh, libraries. Okay, so to do that, uh, we'll right click on this project, hello SDL, and go into properties. From properties, first we need to talk, tell uh, our project where the directories are. So the include directories, that's where our header files are. I'll click edit, uh, and then I'm going to browse by clicking this icon here for the appropriate directories. Uh, and I've moved them to my PC, my C drive, SDL, and include. Double click that and select the folder. And that tells the compiler where all these .h files are. Click OK. And similarly, I need to do this for the library uh, directories here. Uh, so I'm going to navigate to that same path on my C drive and um, go ahead and find SDL and my library, and I'm on a 64-bit system. I'm going to hit 64 and select, uh, and OK. And let's apply these changes. Now, you'll notice the platform I am setting this up for is x64, uh, and I've chosen the 64-bit binary, so we want to be careful with that. And the configuration is for both uh, release or debug mode. Uh, and currently, I'm working on a project in debug mode. But if I select all configurations, uh, this will work for all 64-bit applications. Okay, so if you're working on a 32-bit system, 
uh, you'll select uh, 32 instead of 64. Okay, so we've told the compiler where uh, SDL lives uh, as far as the directories and libraries, uh, but our linker also needs to know where those uh, lib files are, which ones exactly we want to include. So we do this on the input. Which libraries are we inputting? I'm going to edit. Uh, if I'm not sure, I can actually just peek inside here, and I find these two libraries, sdl2.lib and sdl2main.lib. These are the two that I want to include, sdl2.lib and sdl2main.lib. Hit OK. I'm going to apply these changes. Uh, and finally, uh, for our empty project, I can go to the System tab, and I want our application to a console uh, uh, application. That is, there will be a console window where we can throw some debugging to. Um, later in production, when we're building a game, we might want to do a Windows uh, system, uh, and not this option, but for now, this is uh, fine. So I'm going to hit OK. Uh, let's just build this. It's going to tell me it's out of date. Uh, make sure everything is okay. Uh, it looks like everything's fine. Um, you know, the program executed, it didn't do anything, uh, but it executed uh, successfully with this uh, code zero when it terminated. That's a zero. Uh, so now let's actually put in some uh, SDL code. Okay, so the SDL code, uh, I'm going to sort of shamelessly borrow from this uh, tutorial by this gentleman, Lazy Food Productions, uh, and they uh, did a nice job with some code and some of the setup uh, for other platforms as well. Uh, so the code that I have, let's see if I have it uh, here in my clipboard one moment. And here's the code from the tutorial. I'm going to copy and paste it uh, into my main, like so. Let's make it a little bigger so we can see it's about uh, 50 lines or so with comments, and again, this is from the Lazy Food Production guys. Uh, and let's try to run this program. I hit yes, and it says, uh-oh, error. Code execution cannot proceed because sdl2.dl was not found. Reinstalling the problem might fix this problem. Okay, so what happened here is it's looking for uh, this sdl2.dl, okay? And when programs run, uh, they're going to be looking for uh, particular library files. So there's uh, one fix we can do here. I can copy this file, so Control C, and uh, drop this into our project. Uh, so let me navigate and find our uh, Hello SDL project here on the desktop. Uh, here's our project. Uh, if I drop it in here, let's see what happens. Uh, still can't proceed, so I didn't drop it in the right location. Uh, which location I, should I drop it in? Uh, actually, next to my source file. Okay, so here's our uh, empty window. Okay, so the program, uh, if it's running properly, it will, uh, as we see here, wait two seconds uh, to delay and then terminate. Okay, so that's how to set up our SDL program. Uh, and that's it for now. Uh, you can follow some other SDL tutorials on the uh, Lazy Foo site, uh, but we will be uh, looking at some more in the future. Okay?